वेलकम टू इंसेक्ट टेक्स एथिकल हैकिंग कोर्स वीडियोस मॉड्यूल इंट्रोडक्शन टू एथिकल हैकिंग दिस इज द फर्स्ट मॉड्यूल ऑफ दिस एथिकल हैकिंग कोर्स बाय इंफॉर्मेशन सिक्योरिटी टेक्नोलॉजीज एंड दिस वीडियो कवर्स द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ एथिकल हैकिंग एंड द प्रोसेस दैट एथिकल हैकर्स फॉलो इन ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस एंड एट द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो वील आल्सो डिस्कस what are the topics that we are going to see throughout this course and though this this video is more of theoretical in the entire course 90 percentages of the stuff would be completely practical with the required demonstrations and theory so let us start with this first module so let us first try to understand what is security in general implementing strategies against an attack so that the impact of an attack on you is as low as possible and we are actually trying to discuss this security in personal one person tries to secure himself against an attack by implementing some strategies and this is called security and coming to an organization it security is very similar to a normal security uh what they do is they'll try to implement some policies mechanisms or strategies against an attack by an attacker or cyber criminal so that the impact of that attack on your computer or network or services or any other it infrastructure is as low as possible so this is it security and our ethical hacking is an it security domain course and this it security has been segregated into two categories one is defensive security and another one is offensive security the courses like ccsp ins or ccie all these courses come under defensive security and our course which is ethical hacking comes under offensive security now what is this defense and offense in general way defensive security is when someone kicks you or keeps kicking you and you protect yourself with hands or any object you have it is defensive security and when someone kicks you or keeps kicking you and you reverse punch him that is offensive security and it is called offensive because kicking each other is a crime by law and now applying same to cyberspace defensive it security is when an attacker attacks your computer or network or keeps attacking your it infrastructure and you protect your infrastructure with applications like antivirus or using devices like security appliances is called as defensive security and coming to it of uh, offensive it security if you reverse attack the attacker who attacked you is not offensive security this is highly illegal so before actually getting caught before actually getting attacked if you attack your own computer or your own it infrastructure to test how an actual attacker can attack you or to test and find out the problems loopholes vulnerabilities that are existing in your computer that an attacker can use to attack you is called as offensive security now this ethical hacking course is an offensive security course this course is entirely for educational purposes only please miss you please don't miss use it and now let's try to understand what do ethical hackers do an ethical hackers evaluation of a system security seeks answers to three basic questions the first one is what can an intruder see on the target systems and the next one is what can an intruder do with that information and the last one is does anyone at the target notice the intruder's attempts or successes these are the three questions a typical ethical hackers evaluation consists of and when the client requests an evaluation there is quite a bit of discussion and paperwork that must be done up front and the discussion begins with the client's answers to questions similar to what are you trying to protect and what are you trying to protect against 
and finally how much of time of effort and money are you willing to expend to obtain adequate protection and based on all these factors uh, the assessment will be done by the ethical hacker and this is the on floor approach that an ethical hacker and organization will follow first the client meeting will be done ethical hacker or, or the clients clients company the client and the ethical hackers organization both will have a meeting and there will be a process called signing NDA with client. This is because the, the ethical hacker is going to try uh, going, to, going to access some sensitive information from the client as if he is a real attacker and even he is going to do some perform some illegal activities against the client and to protect himself and to protect the organization and to protect the client the signing with NDA agreement will be done and this NDA st stands for non-disclosure agreement and the next one is once after uh, signing this non-disclosure agreement uh, the security evaluation plan will be done and once after the plan the test will be conducted and once after the test is completed the report and documentation will be generated and once after all uh, all this process the the person who has assessed the security of the target organization will present the report he has created now there are several kinds of testing any combination of the following may be called for the first one is remote network in this this particular test simulates the intruder launching an attack across the internet the primary defenses that must be defeated here are border firewalls filtering routers and web servers an attacker will try to attack these firewalls routers and web servers from outside the network and the next one is remote dial-up network this particular test simulates the intruder launching an attack against the clients modem pools and the primary defenses that must be defeated here are user authentication schemes and these kinds of tests should be coordinated with the local telephone company and the next one is local network and this test simulates an employee or other authorized person who has a legal connection to the organization's network and the primary defenses that must be defeated here are the intranet firewalls and internal web servers server security measures and email systems and the next one is stolen laptop laptop computer is very interesting in this test the laptop computer of a key employee such as an upper level manager or strategist is taken by the client without warning and given to the ethical hackers and these ethical hackers examine the computer for passwords stored in dial-up software or corporate information assets personal information since many users will store their passwords on their machine it is common for ethical hackers to be able to use this laptop computer to dial into the corporate intranet with the owner's full privileges. And the next one is social engineering. This test evaluates the target's organization's staff as to whether it would leak information to someone. A typical example of this would be an intruder calling the organization's computer helpline and asking for the external telephone numbers of the modem pool. Defending against this kind of attack is the hardest because people and personalities are involved. And most people are basically helpful so it seems harmless to tell someone who appears to be lost where the computer room is located or to let someone into the building who forgot his or her badge. And the only defense against this is to raise security awareness. And the next one is physical entry. This test acts out of physical penetration of the organization's building. Special arrangements must be made for this. Since security guards or police could become involved if the, if the ethical hackers fail to avoid detection. Once inside the building, it is important that the tester uh, do not be detected tester not be detected and one technique is for the tester to carry a document with the target company's logo on it 
such a document could be found by digging through trash cans or before the ethical hack or by casually picking up a document from a trash can or desk once the tester is inside and we have a couple of technical terms that we have to understand security we have already seen implementing policies mechanisms strategies against an attack so that the impact of an attack on your computer or any other IT resources is as low as possible and the threat is an action or event that might compromise the security and it is violation of security policy and target of evaluation is an IT system a service product a component that is identified subject to require security testing an attack is an assault against a computer or network infrastructure and hacktivism is a kind of hacking that uh, generally this is done for political reasons and the next one is exploit exploit is a code that take advantage of a bug or vulnerability or loophole that is used to attack a computer or network infrastructure we'll see a couple of demonstrations in the in the coming modules how we can use these exploits to take advantage of vulnerabilities and the next one is vulnerability this is the existence of a software flaw a logic design or implementation error that can lead to an unexpected unexpected and undesirable event executing bad or damaging instructions to the system exploit code is written to target a vulnerability and cause a fault in the system in order to retrieve valuable data once if the vulnerability exists exploit is the piece of code that takes advantage of this vulnerability and the next one is elements of security this is the most important concept in ethical hacking or any other information security course the first one is confidentiality ensuring that the information or service is accessible to authorized persons only that is confidentiality if I am sending one message no one else should be able to read the message except my intended recipient and that is confidentiality and this is very often confusing these are very often confusing terms authentication and authorization generally if someone is trying to access without logging in he has no authorization he, he is not authenticated to access that resource if someone is logged in as a user with uh, logged in with user privileges and if he is trying to access some admin resources then he is not authorized and this is the basic difference between authentication and authorization and the next one is authenticity the identification and assurance of origin of data and the next one is integrity the trustworthiness of the data or resource in terms of preventing improper and unauthorized changes this is if I send a message to my destination the message I sent should not be modified before actually reach, reaching my destination and this is called ensuring integrity and the next one is to become a good hacker we need to think like a criminal but don't become a criminal if you become a criminal uh, that the next step would be we will be behind the bus so we need to think like a hacker but we need to follow the ethics and this is the hacking methodology we have we have five steps one is reconnaissance and is scanning gaining access maintaining access and finally clearing tracks reconnaissance is the first step in which we will try to gather all the available all the possible information about the target that we are going to attack and this reconnaissance is gonna be a passive information gathering technique because the attacker will not directly touch or scan the target he will try to gather the information right from the available resources like uh, publicly available resources like internet and all and the next one is scanning in this step the attacker tries to scan the target 
it means he will he will uh, he will not physically touch but he will try to scan the target using some tools like nmap and all and he will try to gather the information and this particular scanning step is also known as active information gathering and the next one is gaining access once after gathering the possible information about the target based on the information he will try to gain access to the target system and once after gaining access to the system uh, if he wants to access the same system one more time in future he doesn't need to do that he can simply maintain his access by uploading some backdoors or by uploading some control panels on the target which he ha which he has uh, already hacked he can simply maintain access and the last and last and important step is clearing tracks if an attacker tries to hack into some system and if he, he will, if he doesn't clear his tracks he will be caught so it is no use there is no use of doing all these attacks and all if he doesn't clear his tracks so for not getting caught he has to clear his tracks and that is the last and final and important step so these are the five steps that any malicious hacker follows and we have classified hackers into six types one is white hat hackers they are very good boys uh, and these are called ethical hackers and black hats dangerous people they are malicious they do malicious activities using their computers these are computer criminals and gray hat hackers are uh, they have the shades of both white hats and black hats and it depends upon the situation and hacktivists are the hackers who hack for political reasons and script kiddies are the hackers who depend upon tools completely they depend upon the tools and these kind of hackers are called script kiddies and the last one is neophyte or newbies people who are new to hacking can be called as newbies now let us try to understand what is this ethical hacking ethical hacking is legal because we are actually taking the nda non disclosure agreement and we are we and the client is client himself is giving permissions to hack into his system so it is legal permission is obtained from the target part of an overall security program to implement the security controls to their organization they are actually doing this so it's a part of an overall security program and identifying vulnerabilities visible from internet at particular point of time we need to do that and ethical hackers possess same skills mindset and tools of a hacker but the attacks are done in a non destructive manner so this is the most important thing that an ethical hacker uh, remember and to conclude so what are we going to do we are going to learn ethical hacking in this particular course